Kevin invited us to check out his clinic. It was in seven floors and provided a variety of treatments from skin care to stem cell research. So what usually happens when a customer comes in? Like, the doctor will come in, what's Yeah, so somebody who's coming in from, let's say, another country. We can pick them up and we can bring them straight here and then they will get registered and have a consultation with a surgeon. Then they can have the surgery maybe the next day. We have a hotel that not only is always available for our patients but also allows them to recover in a more private area and under the care of our staff who understands what it's like for a patient to have plastic sure, surgery. Sure. You know, when patients come here, they don't speak Korean, it's very difficult for them to go out in the streets, so they're able to have all their services done here. We sort of call it a one-stop one -stop service. I'm so curious about how your idea, because I think like the Western idea of, or North American idea of, of plastic surgery is very different from Asian idea of plastic surgery. And I'm curious how your opinion of it has changed. Well, I would have to say yes, it, 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 it has changed because I've, I've got to really see, you know, what's happening. Uh, plastic surgery, our concept of plastic surgery in the West is just is developed because of what other people think, whatever people tell you, news and media. So people who tend to get plastic surgery keep it very secretive, you know, they'll just disappear and, and try to pretend like they've never had it. But here in Korea, uh, in Asia, they view you know, making uh, changes to yourself as, as just a normal decision that if that's what you want to do, if that's going to make you happier, it's going to give you the confidence, it's going to make you look prettier. Uh, they view that, I, I believe, as a way to uh, better themselves and, and, and possibly better their future. You know what? Like, I sure. think that, honestly, though, I think that there's something that we kind of lie to ourselves in Western culture a little bit to be like, no, 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 the way you look doesn't matter. Right. And it does. And, and as much as we can say that, oh, no, it doesn't, and no, we're going to hire the person who's got the best right. qualifications, it still plays a huge part. That's right. And if you look in the mirror and you see something about yourself that you don't like, it's there every day. What if you could get rid of that? It's you easy wouldn't to do obsess it. on it, right? Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't do it. A lot. I know people who who've, um, were boxing and they, they broke their nose. They want to have plastic surgery. Oh, well, then it's okay because it was an accident. Right. But what if you're born with just something that you don't like and that makes you feel bad? Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone should tell them that they can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Kevin took us across the river to Yaksu. The unassuming building contained the hotel where patients recovered. So welcome to our hotel. Wow, this is not what I expected. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing when you get off the elevator, you know, you, you walk into like kind of like an office feeling building and then you walk into this, it's pretty yeah. luxury. Yeah. Of course, it's not a, a complete hotel. We don't have bars and restaurants and everything like that, but we're able to offer them a luxurious environment where they can rest and they can recover under the care of our staff. Korea is a new player in medical tourism. Plastic surgery and medical tourism in Thailand has been around for a long time. Uh, India has it too. Uh, Lebanon, Greece, uh, uh, they all have uh, these types of services. So I think that uh, what makes Korea special is simply uh, the, the, the right price as compared to the West is cheaper, but compared to other countries is a much higher quality. This is a double room. Ah, very nice. Yeah. This looks special, like the, the hooks on the wall? Is that for like if there's any sort of like medical apparatus? Right, we call this actually a medi medical hotel, and so we invented a word I called the Meditel. Okay. So we have all the medical equipment here in case there's any sort of emergency or if patients require any sort of, uh, any sort of uh, you know, changing of bandages or something like that, it can be done all here. How long is the recovery time? Well, the, surgery? Uh, the first couple of days might be, uh, it depends on, really it depends on the surgery. Mm -hmm. So something like your eyes, you can walk home, okay. everything's fine. Uh, but let's say you do something more serious. Uh, but generally, between seven days to uh, ten days, most patients are able to walk around and be fine. They'll be left with some some little bit of bruising or maybe some some swollenness, but otherwise they're fine and ready to go back home. Cool. So, how long do you think you'll be uh, staying in this industry? It's really interesting, like the science behind it, sure. and yeah, know. I mean, like in Korea, the medical tourism industry is the is, is very new and it's one of the fastest growing industries. So. Uh, I really hope that I can be a part of this, you know, as it continues to grow. Working in this industry, for me, is I get to see a lot of, of positive changes in people's lives. It might sound shocking to people, but we are actually making other people happy throughout the world.